eat a lot. Yes, we eat. I am fat and I'm proud of it. <laughs> I eat a lot. <laughs> We have one desire. I had what? Two berry burgers <laughs> and a uh, large fry. <laughs> we are not shy about putting the food No. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, normally what we do is we do our meetings and we'll go out for dinner and eat and then we'll go on our hunts after that. So, you touch on our cemetery tour? Uh, I mentioned them. Um, every October we do a haunted cemetery tour of the historic cemetery in uh, Mishawaka there on Main Street. Uh, it's the one closest to the railroad tracks. Um, it's a good fundraiser that we do every year. Um, we normally charge $7 a person to go on the tour. And it's about an hour and a half, two hour tour. We take you around to all the graves and stuff in the cemetery, all the famous people that's buried there. they got a guy that's buried sitting up. Um, some of the old blacksmiths and stuff in town, the Dodges, um, the Merrifield, stuff like that that's out there. Uh, we tell you the ghost stories of the area, um, where they lived at, stuff like that. We tell you the history of the grave, so you get some history in there. And then each grave site, we take a piece of our equipment that we have, and we show the people what we do with it on our investigations. We explain how we use it, what we use it for. We tell some of the funny stories that we've been on, some of the hunts and stuff like that. Um, it's really very fun. I mean, last year we had people dressed up. You know, he was a Grim Reaper. Um, I was a Fat Freddy. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get So I mean, we always try to do something, you know. Krueger, not the other Fat Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another Fat Freddy? Yeah. Who's the other Fat Freddy? Before he was born in the 70s. That the Freak Brothers and one of them was Fat Freddy. They were oh. as a dope smoking type cartoon magazine. Uh, before my time. Yeah, I forget. Oh. One of the older ones. <laughs> Brandon probably yeah, knows. He's got to go. <laughs> on the boards about that and let everybody know that wants to come to it and stuff and we can do that. Um, you want to do that before the meeting? Do it at like 3.30? Yes, that's okay with you. Because our meeting is going to be at 4 o'clock next month. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, because we're going to... We can do that too, that yeah. Part of that, we can talk about that too, yeah. Because um, we're going to... We're, what we're going to do is next month we're going to be here about 2, 2.30ish and uh, do some hometown haunts tapings for our episodes. And then we'll go from there into that, and then we go into our meeting, and then I believe we're doing a ghost hunting training after that. So next month you're going to really want to be here if you want to get all that stuff. So. And private people do uh, charge about $100 an hour to have this done, so we're offering it for nothing. <laughs> so you're talking about doing the whole first attunement? Mm -hmm. To open the third eye like we had the first time? Yeah. Depending on how many we have, Reiki likes three, so depending on how many we have, we may have to do it at two separate times, or she, while she takes three, I take three. And, talk about the experiment that we got coming up. Um, we're going to do uh, a do remote viewing. Okay. 
So what we're going to need, I said we get five envelopes, five pictures, put pictures in it, have somebody randomly choose one. You want me to put pictures of my phone in it? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so, okay, pictures of my okay. kitty. Okay, what we'll do is we will take an envelope. We'll get in trouble for those pictures. Of yeah. my kitty? Why don't you bring in We're five so pictures? Much. I don't care about anything. I, I mean, Events, people, anything significant. Just I'll something that we can, you know, do a remote viewing on. Put them in an envelope, seal the envelopes. Okay. And put like a letter in between, A through F or whatever. Um, bring them in next month's meeting. We'll have somebody in here randomly choose a uh, envelope. And then what we'll do is we'll take, uh, we'll let it go the whole month and see if, you know, you take the whole month and just remote view and see if you can figure out what's in there. Okay. One of the things we're trying to do is, is branch off a little bit from doing strictly ghosts and yeah. doing other stuff in the paranormal. Area too, like the, the remote viewing. Uh, we've done some discussion of maybe looking into like UFO stuff and stories around so here. Like advertisement, that. stuff like that. Um, basically, anything and everything falls under the paranormal area. And in our board, we also have a section too where you can post stuff and, and put stuff up on there. But some, any, sometimes you can. Pictures, make sure you post them. You know, I do so much ghost hunting and then it's time for a break to do something else. <laughs> and they're fun little experiments, stuff that you can do, you know, a half hour at a time, you know. Gives you a little bit of a break. Um, so we'll do that next month. Get all that planned out. Well, I guess that's it then. I guess we can go ahead and break and we will head to Hacienda to eat. And then the people that's going on the private investigation tonight, uh, we'll just meet up after Hacienda and head that way. We'll have to get the address and stuff to me and find out exactly where it's at. <laughs> Anybody's here, more than welcome to join us at Hacienda. Uh, yes. that's, that's something we do after every meeting. We meet yes. somewhere to eat. It's not necessarily always Hacienda. We, Applebee's, McDonald's. We bounce around <laughs> that, so. Where are you going next week? Where are you going next week? Hacienda, or 100 Center. Um, like I said, uh, any of the new people, keep an eye on our boards. We're going to be doing a lot of private hunts, a lot of uh, our uh, last-minute hunts coming up. Um, I know I'm the one that we're getting ready to do. I believe we're going to do a Munchkin Land, Bertrand run up there, should have the whole thing up there. And there was another one that yeah, I found. Yeah, let's just cut Purgatory, because you know what? That's a bunch of crap. Yeah. So, and it's way out there, yeah. and you're like, neat. Everything on that list is way out there. Mm -hmm. we'll do a all we got out of purgatory was ticks and yeah, sticker really. bushes. Yeah, that's pretty much how it was. <laughs> oh, look, it's a cement floor. Who cares? So, you talking you purgatory? Are you talking the drunk now? house? <laughs> purgatory. I thought the ticks and everything were the drunk house. That's where you guys got lost on the list. No, that's where we got lost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hey, I got told there's burial mounds out here to go there look was, for There's piles like a of cars. There are. There are carts. Yeah, I they're always took like out car. Things. This is our marker. And they're like, let's go off the trail. <laughs> it's like the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the middle of the night. They're like, it looks different at night time. <laughs> <laughs> To a subdivision. Yeah, we left in a trailer and park yeah. and came out in a subdivision. At first, <laughs> oh, they right. go down one road and it's the wrong road, so they come back. They go down the other road, it's the wrong road. <laughs> <laughs> there's like this little oh, horse. There's a few of us just sat on a rock. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come back and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the cars kept driving by going, yeah, they, but nobody ever stopped and offered us a drink yeah. of water or yeah. nothing. It's yeah. like, <laughs> No, we left. We had some party. fun hunts. Yeah. Would you <laughs> stop with a bunch of pissed off people sitting on a rock? House. By then we were we weren't upset at that point. We were dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the woods. I mean, he runs through a sprinkler. And takes you had the off, scary look by then. <laughs> we were checking our phones to see if we could get a signal in the woods to see if we could call 911. I left early. I got to miss it all. And they're like, they're like, we grew up here. We know these woods like the back of our hand. 
And I guess we're idiots because by the time they lighted the bonfire to toast marshmallows <laughs> over with asbestos shit <laughs> and the snake crawled out, we should have left. <laughs> snake and tried to keep it. And then it got out. Put it in the alert and it got out. Yeah. This doesn't happen very often. No. no. This is one time. Yeah, oh. the asbestos thing goes down and nasty. You know, There's like yeah. once a year we have something like that happen. We're, um, like, we're not going to cook marshmallows. I, I went fun. there a couple months ago with another group. And yes and no. Where? Where? <laughs> Primrose. Oh. 